Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this mermaid seashell bra shirt using my Cricut machine and holographic heat transfer vinyl. The camera really doesn't do this vinyl justice. It is so bright and shiny, and it reflects every color of the rainbow. I'm headed to Disneyland very soon, so I made this shirt to wear at the park as a nod to my very favorite Disney princess. I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. Let's do it! First, I created the design for this shirt in Canva, which is a free online platform. It's super user-friendly, and I highly recommend it if you're looking to create your own designs. I found this shell graphic in the Elements library and changed the brighter pink outline to be white. Then I tilted it on an angle and duplicated it to be mirrored on the other side. I saved it with a clear background and uploaded the design to Cricut Design Space. You need to resize the image to whatever size you want for your shirt. I used a measuring tape to measure the space on the t-shirt I'll be using. When you have it sized, hit make it in the top right corner and it will bring you to the mat preview. A very important step whenever you're using heat transfer vinyl is to turn on the mirror toggle in the left toolbar, which will flip your design. This is because we will be cutting on the underside of the design that will be laid flat against the shirt when we iron it on. It doesn't actually matter for this design because it is the same when you mirror it, but that's important to know for designs that aren't symmetrical. When you're ready, hit continue, connect your machine, and then you wanna set your base material to holographic iron-on vinyl or whatever you're using. I usually select more pressure to get a nice clean cut. Make sure your fine point blade is loaded in your machine and then you're ready to go. I found this holographic iron-on vinyl on Amazon. It's mainly silver, but it's extremely reflective and shines every color of the rainbow. Always lay your iron-on vinyl shiny side down on the cutting mat. The shiny side is a carrier sheet that you will put your iron or heat press on top of, and we don't want to cut into that. You want to cut from the underside where the actual vinyl is, which again is why we always mirror our designs. I applied my vinyl to the cutting mat, loaded it into the machine, and started the cut. Once the cut was done, I used my hook tool to weed the design and I was ready to iron it onto my plain black t-shirt. Cricut has a heat guide on their website that gives you heat transfer instructions for whatever it is you're using. I've linked it in the description. I'm using a household iron, so I just use these instructions as guidelines, but my iron doesn't actually tell me what temperature it's at, so I just estimate and hope for the best. No disasters so far. I have this heat press mat I got on Amazon. It's not the Cricut brand one, it's a cheaper one by a different brand and it works great. I've linked it in the description as well. Cricut does not recommend using an ironing board as a surface to iron on. Before I got this mat, I used to use just a regular bath towel and it worked fine. I've got the heat mat inside the shirt under the space where I want to put my design. The instructions say to preheat the fabric, so that's what I'm doing with my iron here. You just want it to be warm before you place the design on it. I have these nifty t-shirt rulers that I got on Amazon and I use them to position my design. But before I had these, I would fold the shirt in half and iron a crease down the middle to line up the center of the design. Next, I placed my iron down on one side of the design with light pressure and held it there for about 30 seconds and slowly moved across the design doing this in each section. I did one final smooth out all over to make sure nothing was missed, then I flipped the shirt inside out and ironed from the other side for another 15 seconds. The instructions say to do a cool removal, so you just want to wait until everything feels cool to the touch and then you can slowly remove the carrier sheet. You should always wash and dry a brand new shirt before applying heat transfer vinyl so that if it's going to shrink, your design doesn't get damaged. If anything is peeling up with the carrier sheet as you're removing it, you can go back over with your iron or heat press to make sure it's fully transferred. I didn't have any issues with that this time, but it tends to happen with designs that have a lot of tiny details in them. And that's it! Cricut says their iron-on vinyl lasts for 50 washes or more and recommends washing inside out. This is not Cricut brand vinyl, but I would expect it to have a similar lifetime. I am stoked that the roll came with so much vinyl because I love how it turned out and I can't wait to make more projects with this HTV. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. See you later.